All right, so to start off, you want to navigate to the Gravity View account page. Put your account details in there. I've got mine in there already. And then you want to click Login. So here we are in the Gravity View account page. You'll see a few tabs at the top. Um, so you want to click on the Downloads tab and then scroll down to the plugin that you want to download. So in this case, we're going to download Gravity View. So there it is. Click the Download Plugin button. That will download the plugin directly to your machine as a zip file, as you can see there. And then uh, the next step is to head to your WordPress website where you want to install Gravity View. So here we are, I'm inside the WordPress dashboard. So hover over plugins, click add new, and then you want to click upload plugin. So you can click choose file and select your file, or you can actually drag and drop the plugin. So I'm going to drag and drop mine here. Now click install now. So that will install. And as you can see, it's installed successfully. So the next step is to click Activate Plugin. And now that that's activated, uh, we can see that it's active. We're, in, we're here in the Getting, Getting Started page for Gravity View 2.11. And what you need to do now is activate your Gravity View license. Okay, so to activate your license, just hover over Gravity Kit here and click on Products and Licenses. So um, I've got a license in here already because this is a demo site, but I'm going to add another one to show you how it's done. So we're going to need to enter the license key here in this box. So we're going to head back to our Gravity Kit account page and just click on this tab here that says your licenses. And here is our license key here. So to copy it, we can just click on this button and that's automatically copied to our clipboard. So now we can head back to our website and paste it here in this box. There we go, and we'll click activate license. Okay, so our license has been activated. As you can see, it's here. And if you want to deactivate it at any time for whatever reason, you can just click deactivate here. And as you can see, that license key gets removed.